You feel me? Drake yo. is the second coming to Kanye West, bro. I know you got your own stream to do, but I just wanted to let you know, like, yo, Kanye West is the GOAT. Boom, 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 boom. Yo. Do you do understand that Drake turned that nigga to a fashion designer, right? Nigga, like, that rich is a real. He don't even want to make music no more because he can't compete. Yeah, but nigga, Rihanna don't want to make music because she's a fucking billionaire of lipstick and thongs. Nigga. No, 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 no. Rihanna just dropped a song. Kanye. Yeah, nigga. Listen, that's not even her song. Nigga. That's Black Panther song. Nigga. Like, her song. Kanye did make Fabio for make his greatest verse of all time. Yeah, like bro, Kanye oh, West. Oh, he... I'm sure. I'm sure DJ Khaled does the same thing. <laughs> listen, no, no, listen, nigga, nigga, yo, yo, nigga, niggas give their worst verse to DJ Khaled. Stop it. Every yeah, chance that I get, keep going. Like, what? Nigga, listen to on, God stop. did. Nigga, that stop shit it. sucks. Nigga, yo, God did yo, suck. Yo, yo, Wale intern, listen, I told you. Kanye West is the new version of DJ Khaled. When you hear Donda, yeah. what songs do you listen to? The ones with what? Features, right? No, Rich, believe what Roddy, I say is the best Roddy song. Rich put him on his backpack. Nigga, believe what I say, believe what I say is the best song. Fabio Ford put him on a backpack. Little Yachty put him on a backpack. Nobody remembers a Kanye verse from Donda. That's a fact. Name one. Recite it. You need some for the jail today. today. Come on, brother. Do you understand what I'm saying, no, brother? Do you understand what I'm saying? Niggas oh. don't want to listen to that. You know what mm. niggas want to listen to? No friends in the industry. My brothers, but no, my brothers. Nobody, in the nobody's listening to that. Nobody's listening to that shit. Hey, you know what niggas want to listen to? No, no. I'll from. be outside a lot. I go no. to the clothes a lot. Like, boom. Boom no, gets up to me. Bitches in North Carolina, bro. That shit don't fucking count, bro. Like, South Carolina. <laughs> nigga, you like no one like Wally, bro. Be real, like nobody, no no nigga listen to Drake and relate to no friends in the industry. Like they don't, they're not in the fucking industry. Act like the like, on. Hold on, I'm about to text him. Act like the stream on. on. No, he should have hosted you. My nah, stream definitely got left on. <laughs> How? I don't know. What? Yeah, that's nigga. That nigga, that nigga left his stream on. That nigga did leave his stream on. How did he raid you and left his stream on? Yeah, he left his scream on. It ain't nobody in the room. It's just that. like he <laughs> just got it on. Yeah, it's hilarious. I, just I thought we could... if you don't if you don't answer by like four, I'm gonna call him. This is yeah, so wild. Nah, he just like left the room with homegirl and yeah, cut the I lights off. Press raid it ends your stream automatically. Thank God I do. I end my shit. But God damn, what the fuck? L- listen, man. Let back to the back to the subject, right? Listen. Kanye, all the Kanye talk, he's like, yo, I'm going dr- to shit on Drake. I'm going to drop the same day as Drake. Nigga, you know what Drake did? You know what he said in his song? He said, what? fuck debating who to go. You better not make that shit about the numbers all I know. You heard him, nigga. You nigga. better not make that shit about nigga. the numbers, nigga. nigga. But you nigga, see what nigga. he's doing, nigga. Okay, Facts. but look, look. Yo, no, and this is what I'm going to kill you at. If it was about the numbers, bro, Kareem, Kareem would be the GOAT. Robert Hoyle would be the GOAT. Bill Russell would be the GOAT. But Michael Jordan is the fucking goat. You know why? Because he was the best at what he fucking did, not because he had the best fucking numbers. That's the brother, best example I can give you. Let me say, let me say the difference though, brother. I'm gonna say the difference, right? What? What? You know what? You know what people say? Because you know the same way you're comparing it, it's like the same way that people compare Tupac and Biggie and yada yada yada. Listen, okay. I'm gonna be honest with you. I tell this to my child all the time, right? The Tupac and Biggie era is the old generation. You mm-hmm. can say that they're good, or whatever, but nigga. We all know, like, let's let's compare, right? We all know that modern day Kobe Bryant and modern day LeBron is better than Jordan. Because what the but, fuck but, did but, you? Hold on, let me let me. Let, let, we, I'm, I'm I'm gonna explain to you why, right? Basketball has evolved since then. Do you understand Bro, what I'm saying? What the no, let me fuck finish. Let me, let me finish though. Let me finish. All right, all right. Let me finish for me. The reason being is because basketball has evolved since then. So the way the the way that they play ball is not the way that. They play ball now. Like, bro, you see Curry? You see what Curry's doing? Bro, Curry's a fucking demon. You see what I'm saying? But, yeah. But you can't compare Curry to a nigga who was shooting threes back in the day like fucking, I don't know, Ray Allen or somebody because basketball oh. has evolved. Let me finish, though. Boom, let me finish, right? So when it comes down to old generations and new generations, right, you might say, oh, Tupac was a legend. Tupac's the GOAT, whatever, right? It's a new generation of music. Brother, Tupac back then and the music that he made back then it's nowhere even near close to Drake's. And here's and this is the problem, right? It's because people always like to gas up the old generation when it comes down to anything. They're going to be like, Rat, annoying, you're crazy. Tupac did this, dear mama, yada, yada, yada. Cut the bullshit. 
if we're comparing Tupac's music to Drake's music, everybody knows Drake's the better artist. Bro, it's Ed not Lewis, even a stop. question. Bro, stop, Hold bro. Up. Let me finish. Let me finish. You game. chatting, bro? You I'm chatting. not chatting. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Everybody knows if you had one chance to listen to, right? Would you rather listen to Tupac for the rest of your life or Aubrey Drake Graham for the rest of your Nigga, life? What? Niggas, what? Niggas is choosing Drake. It's just what it is. Who the fuck they not? We're in a new generation of music. Bruh. Music has evolved that niggas would rather listen to a young boy than listen to Tupac. It's just what it is. Facts. It's the fact that it's the fact that Tupac has been there for 20 years and niggas can still bring him up for a goat debate. Makes that nigga already goaded. No. That nigga's been dead for 20. He can't even go live on Instagram, nigga. Brother, brother, he's he's bring getting brought back up because he's passed away. Like this is 20 years ago. Okay, but okay. I'm gonna give you a prime example, right? And I don't, I don't even want to use this as an example because God forbid it, it ever happened to my goat, right? Chief okay. Keith, right? My goat, that's a goat for sure. Or, or, or a matter of fact, scratch that. It could be speaker knockers. It could be little Snoop. There's been multiple. Okay, reaching, but okay. Hold on. There's been multiple artists, right, who came out with some extravagant talent, right? And when they pass away, they all of a sudden get super boosted, gassed up. Like okay. brother, speaker knockers was nice, but why are we compare them to a boogie? A boogie's music is way better. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's different. That's, no, that's way different because nigga Tupac was already a legend when he died. Snoop, Snoop, and them niggas didn't even get to reach the mainstream. Tupac was already selling hundreds of thousands of copies when he died. It's not even the same. What's what do we call a legend, bro? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. It's like you said Tupac's not a legend. Bro, Don't say that. I'm gonna be honest, bro. It's like when every rapper passes away, all of a sudden they're a legend. Bro, wait, did, are you saying Tupac not a legend? You're lying. Did you no, answer what I said? I said, what do we consider a legend nowadays? Because every a nigga who had a nigga who has actual classic songs that le- that lived through the test of time and actually has records and actually was mainstream, and actually was popular, and actually had culture and influence. You had niggas in Japan and like Korea wanted to be Tupac, bro. Like dead ass okay, niggas so, still look up to that nigga over there. Okay, so let me ask you a question: Is Pop Smoke a legend? He not a legend, but he was a goat. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't a legend, but he's like for drill rap. I can't put him on the same scale with Tupac, but he was doing. He was like the biggest drill rapper, like like ever, even dead. Like he still did it the biggest. Like it's no nigga that did it bigger than him. So again, what do we classify as a legend? Chief Keef a legend? Chief is definitely a legend. Like Chief is a living legend for sure. So what do we? What is the definition of a legend? It's changing the entire face of the fucking game. Chief Keef changed the game. Chief Keef got niggas. Drill rappers in New York, the reason why they shooting videos in the, like cooped up in the fucking hugging each other with switches out and shit, nigga, is because of Chief Keef. I agree. I absolutely agree with you. Now, let me ask you a question. What? Why is Biggie a legend? Well, oh, <laughs> I can't say Biggie a legend. I can say Bro, Tupac a legend. Do you see what I'm but, saying, though? Like, nah, that's what but I'm trying to tell you, though. But you wasn't there, so you can't. You got to ask like our moms that. Like you, you, we weren't really there when we, to see his impact. We just know how impactful he was because he's his name still lives on to this day. Let me, like, bro. There's a lot of people who whose name live on to this. Yeah, day. but not like Biggie, like not like like Biggie and Tupac are like fucking the Mount Rushmore of rap. Like that's like icon. That's I like disagree. Michael Jordan. Huh? I disagree. Who's the Mount Rush, Rush, Rushmore of rap? Mount Rushmore of uh, how many people? Like, give me four, there? Five, four, 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 four. Four Mount Sh- Mount Rushmore people of rap: Chief Keef, that's one. Young Boy, that's two. Drake, <laughs> oh, that's three. Don't ask me, ask me that no I'm being honest. <laughs> Who's the fourth? Drake, that's three. Wayne, that'll be four. Wayne. <laughs> oh shit! Absolutely. Over Kanye West. You yes. put. Con- you put Young Boy and T.P. over be, Kanye bro, West. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. Why do you think Kanye West is just so great, bro? Every nigga you name is inspired by fucking Kanye West. Every nigga you just named, every nigga you name, but probably besides Young Boy, every nigga you name is inspired by fucking Kanye West, bro. Chief is not inspired by Kanye. Nigga, nigga, Chief, nigga, Chief did a song with that nigga. Chief definitely looks up to um Kanye West, bro. Young boy he does. Not yes, he, bro, bro. yes, he does, bro. That whole nobody album was inspired by fucking Kanye West. Young bro. boy is 100%. not inspired by Kanye. Yeah, besides Young Boy, but Young Boy not even he not even in like the top fifty of rap. Like, let's be fucking real, bro. Like, bro, if we going off inspiration, bro, you see what Kanye just said. But, on Chief, but Young Boy ain't doing shit that Chiki didn't do already. So you can't. I can't put him two niggas that's the same in the same month. Rushmore. Listen, Everything look, Young Boy did, he just did it bigger than what Chiki doing. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Everybody has a change on music and a change. An impact on hip hop. 
That doesn't necessarily mean you're a legend. Brother, when Speaker Knockers came out, he was the first one with that sound. You know who came after him? It came people like Nav. It came people mm-hmm. like A Boogie. You, you can even consider Lil Tech a, a Speaker Knockers influence. That True. doesn't necessarily mean that people are defined and deemed as legends because you were inspired. Bro, Drake was no. inspired by niggas like Timbaland. Is Timbaland a speaking, fucking legend? Speaking like, like but it's how it's how much you were inspired where you changed the entire game. Speaker Knockers ain't changed the fucking game. He got four niggas that rap like him. He not changing the game, young like he not changing the game. And everything young boy did, okay, so keeping all who, who raps like Tupac? No, bro, that's why he's a goat. Nobody raps like him. Nobody can ever rap like him ever. Nobody can ever rap like him. He got niggas making dear mama songs. He got niggas making conscious rap about fucking social injustice, all that type of shit. He got like he was like a the first like socially con like construct rapper. Like he was talking about social issues. In America, as a black nigga, like he was really rapping about that shit. Kendrick does the same thing. Is Kendrick? He was like making hits. He was making hit. The difference is he was making hit songs with that shit. Hit Billboard songs. Kendrick does the same thing. Is Kendrick a legend? He did, nigga. I would kind of say yeah. I would kind of would say that Kendrick is definitely a legend. Jake I'm not a legend. Lie. He does the same thing. No, no, no. Because no, he's not doing as good as as Kendrick. He's not doing as good as Kendrick. J Cole got one album. Kendrick got like five fucking albums. He got like five rings, bro. J. Cole not a legend. No, he not a legend. Fuck no. Listen, man. I'm just telling you, like I said, you're right. I am the new generation, so I never, unfortunately, <clears throat> get to got to listen to or em- see the impact that Tupac had. I mm-hmm. was born in 97. I'm currently 25, and when I was born, Tupac passed away, unfortunately. You see what mm-hmm. I'm saying? But, but I'm younger than you, so, and I, I still know how impactful Tupac was. And like, I, know, I understand how impactful he was. But that this is what I'm this is this is what I'm trying to this is what I'm trying to say though. I feel like a lot of people when it comes down to old generation, not even just rap, even in sports, I feel like there's so many people who's just overrated because they don't see the it like they don't see how a certain game or music has evolved. Like Larry Bird, like Larry Bird in his prime it will be fucking whack now. Michael Jordan in his prime, could he still keep up? Absolutely, but no. do, I, oh. do I think that he, nigga? You gotta understand, like, huh? do do I think he, he would be better than Curry? No, what the fuck, what, bro? Like, what the fuck? Being honest, gang, like I just real shit. This is my personal opinion. Are you not nah, annoying, bro? You joking, bro? Like, nah, I, I, like you you bullshit, bro. I know you trolling, bro. Like you definitely trolling. Nigga, I'm being honest. You know what's funny? I used to think, bro, Kobe is my favorite player of all time. Like Kobe is really like he he genuinely like when that nigga died, I was like crying and shit, bro. Like I got jerseys and shit. He's like really like the goat, but. I used to be like Kobe, Kobe better than Jordan, Kobe better than Jordan. Until I did my research and then I seen how much of a fucking beast Michael Jordan really was. I couldn't even like I couldn't even I couldn't lie to myself and be like, yeah, Jordan's not better. Like Jordan was really that nigga, bro. Like he really was that nigga. I I'm sorry. That, but again, basketball has evolved. Yes, but the thing is, nigga, it evolved because of who? Michael fucking Jordan. All the niggas you naming. Want to be Michael Jordan? They want to pass Michael Jordan. They want to do the shit well, Michael Jordan did. What's passing? Nigga, getting more rings, fucking being more popular, having some signature shoes, like the shit Jordan See, did. Like, bro, this, the shit Jordan did was insane. That's what I'm trying to tell you, though. I think it's harder in this day and era to get rings for basketball players because it's more competition. Do you see what I'm that's saying? But that's, that's why LeBron why been to the been to the finals for eight years and ain't that much competition. The same didn't go eight times. Shit, I mean. When you got a team like the Warriors, shit, how many does Curry have? Four? Yeah. Do you think Curry's going to pass Jordan? And if he does, he's No, gonna... he's not. He's going to stop at five rings. Let me tell he's you something. Gonna... Even if Curry gets seven rings, people are still not going to say he's better than Jordan. That's why I'm that's why Jordan I'm trying to... six and old, bro. It's that's different. why, it's that's, different why I'm trying to, that's why I'm trying to tell you that when it comes down to older generations of basketball, and in and, and older generations, you got to understand this, boom. In older generations... Nobody will ever be b- better than anybody who in the older generation. So, so that's why I said it's a it's a society thing that's embedded in our brains. So you say Tupac's the best rapper now in people's minds the socially, best rapper, but... you know, and now in people's minds socially, they're gonna say there will never ever be a rapper better than Tupac. There will never ever oh Wayne's the best rapper alive, but he wasn't better than Tupac. Oh, he wasn't doing this, but he wasn't. Be- that's what I'm trying to explain to you, Boom. That's why I said that when are we gonna? As people are going to stop this mindset 
and stop following society where you have to face reality and actually realize there's a million niggas out there that's better than fucking Tupac. That there's a, a hundred no. niggas out there that's actually better than Jordan. That's true. Yo, you that's niggas true. is brainwashed when it no, comes no, down. No, no, annoying. To you're right. You're, no, you're no annoying. You're right. But a nigga hasn't came that close yet. That's the thing. It's okay to think niggas are raw, but to be better than Jordan, you have to surpass everything that nigga did. And that's possible. It's a nigga out here who's training right now. To, he's going to be way better than Michael Jordan. We just don't know that nigga yet. It's hard but it's not. Surpass. It ain't happening yet. It's hard to surpass yet. because, like I said before, the NBA, the NBA is basketball has evolved. That's why it's yeah. hard to surpass. I mean, there ain't no there ain't shit. Who follows that? That's like saying it. But you if said you ask me, to... I would say LeBron is better than Jordan. If you ask me, but how so? Say... How, how how so? How would you say LeBron is better than Jordan? Better defense for sure. What nigga? LeBron, dude, Michael Jordan is a ten-time defensive player of the year, ten or six times. Brother, going against like nigga Sean Kemp, Charles Barkley, like nigga Clyde Drexler. It was actually the goats back then. Like I understand you think it was just white people, but like okay, it was actually so, goats in back there. Reggie Miller. Forget basketball. We're going off topic, bro. Because I don't even wanna, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. I don't even want to get into the stats or whatever, right? But basically, what I'm trying to tell you is. I'm not saying that Tupac didn't have an impact when it comes down to music. He absolutely did. Same with Michael Jackson. Same with whoever, right? But there's, you know, there's a reason why people call Drake the modern day Michael. There's a reason for that. There's a reason why people say Drake. And to be Drake honest, is the modern day Michael. People say that. No, it's, that's a real nickname. Who says that? Who the fuck says that? Chat, do people. No, no. Name me the niggas who say it. Bro, name me the niggas Drake who say it. said it. Nigga, did he say the lights can Michael Jackson? Nigga, uh, he's Drake. Nigga Listen, he's brother, Drake, though. Listen. Of course he don't fucking say it. Statistically speaking, Drake is the biggest artist in the world. No, he's not. He's actually not. Bad Bunny is the biggest artist in the world. Statistically speaking. Let's check that, actually. <laughs> that's facts. Like, that's facts, nigga. Drake cannot sell out 80,000 for, for 30 shows, nigga. I'm sorry. And I'll fuck with Drake the long way. But it's not happening. It's not happening, bro. It's Bad Bunny, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bad Bonito. Come on now. Like, don't do that. So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, Ye was actually doing stadiums. I'm just saying. Listen, listen, He's listen. doing stadium listen, tours. Listen, listen, listen. Bad Bunny's on a run right now, but if we're talking all time. Nigga, uh, nigga, his run, nigga, his run is damn near catching up with drinks in that short amount of time. I'm not capping. Nigga. I swear to God. Listen. I swear to fucking God. Listen, that listen, nigga doing listen. It. Again, we're going to keep it. We, you can say rap, whatever. Hip hop music in general, right? Okay. Drake's the biggest hip hop artist if you really want to get statistical. If you want to say. Time? If, yes. It, well, you got. I'm not going to count Eminem because he's like he's like a white cheat code. Drake is bigger than Eminem. No, he's not. But you can't count Drake. I mean, you can't count Eminem. He's like a cheat code. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna count Eminem. Drake, Eminem is the biggest rap. Drake is the biggest hip hop artist of all time. No, bro, Eminem is the biggest rapper of all time. But we're no, not gonna count him. Drake is. He's, he, he, nigga, look how many records. Statistically, <laughs> Drake is bigger. Nigga, Eminem has the most records sold as a rapper. Yeah, me, me, he has most records sold probably like on, on a couple songs and shit. But if we talk about charts, gold and platinums, I don't nigga, know. Nigga, yes, it's Eminem. I don't think so. Nigga. I swear to God on everything, I love his Eminem, bro. I'm about to Eminem, take, I'm about to take R I A A. Yeah, I am too, bro. It's Eminem, bro. It's fucking Eminem. Like, bro. Chill, bro. It, it, it's Eminem, bro. He said Eminem is not. It's 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 Eminem, though. I don't think so. He says Drake Eminem makes history as the most certified artist for singles in all IAA gold and platinum program history, nigga. I'm telling you, it's, it's him. 166 million units sold. And how much has 60? Drake sold? Huh? How much has Drake sold? Uh, all right, 166 million units, singles, 61 million albums. All right, let's 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 go Drake. Nigga, I think Drake just touched like 100 million. Let's see, let's see. Either let's way see. it goes, he's got to surprise 100, 142 million so certified units. Mi- so he's 20 million behind. So he's not the biggest. Okay, so he's got to And that was three him. years ago. Okay, that was three years ago. So that Drake's, was three years so ago. So Drake's going to surpass him by what, 2024? Come on, bro, let's be real. But it's like, we're, that's not happening yet. So it's what's gonna, happening now is Eminem is the biggest rapper. It's gonna happen, and, but it's not. And, and I would even happening. hold on. I would even consider him the biggest rapper because Eminem is not outselling Drake within the past five years. He's not doing it. But because Drake is hotter right now, obviously he's in his prime. That's like saying Drake can't outsell Eminem in two thousand ten. But, see, Nick, but do you see the thing though? 
there's I don't think you understand. I do though. Eminem has a prime, and then they slip. Kanye has a prime, then he slips. Drake bro. never slips, boom. Dude, if you want to be real, Drake you has be... never slipped, boom. Yo, 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 annoying. I fuck with Drake, but you want you want reality, bro? You want reality? Let's talk reality. Nigga, you did a million, nigga. Scorpion did what? Seven hundred, nigga. The next album did my what? My brother, my brother, my brother. No, 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 no. no. Next I'm, album did what? I'm gonna counter you. I'm gonna counter you. Six hundred. Okay, and what the, what does last album just do? Two hundred. What's he be do? The dance album. Okay, so CLB did CLB did six hundred after Scorpion doing seven hundred, and he just did two hundred. CLB did six fifty, but let me okay, but it's not seven hundred like Scorpion was. Let me talk about it. So, so let's talk about it. Can we talk about it now? Okay. Listen, I'm glad we're bringing this up because every single album that you mentioned was Mm -hmm. still the highest selling hip hop album at that time. So you know what you're telling me? Oh. Drake's not in his prime. He's just still competing with himself. <laughs> oh, Drake's not in his prime. Let's just compete with his own numbers. Well, see, I'm not saying he can... Stop. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, you see no. how you're not telling me <laughs> any other artist who surpassed him for being a number one album in hip hop? You're making him compare to himself with his own numbers. Oh, what? oh, you know, Drake's not selling a million like he used to, but he's still number one. Oh, you know, he's still not doing 800K, 700K, but he's still number one. Like, huh, yeah, but, brother, but we're, he's still we're number comparing, one. We're not comparing him with uh, any other artist. We're, we're telling you how Drake has slipped. No, but let, me say, hey, let, me say, another artist. let me tell you another thing. Drake doesn't sell digital co- uh, physical copies anymore. When okay. views and shit was out, he was selling physical copies. Okay, and Scorpion, he did not sell physical copies. Okay, and, and he doesn't do vinyls. He doesn't do digital cop. Yo, did you see the academics post? Let's go to the academics post. I'm gonna pull it off for you. I, I know, I know. Th- yo, I'm in the industry. You know that, right? I like, I know this shit. Like, his, I'm signed to this nigga's like his boss's son. I know this shit. Okay, so so then you also know that if he was to do all those physical copies, he would mm-hmm. sell the exact same amount as what he did Swift. before. Oh, he, he does he would not sell, do that anymore. He would, sell, he would sell if he did what Taylor Swift did. He would sell like a two million copies, also, but he's not. Also, here's here's another thing when it comes down to Drake. Right, Drake doesn't do well promotion anymore, bro. You gotta understand when he was doing views and shit. But that's an excuse. Doing that's not our fault. That's not nobody's fault but Drake. That you're absolutely right. But then again, why would Drake care if he's still going number one? This is what I'm okay. trying to tell you. Yeah, Drake but you can is, go number one even with your ta- with your album selling less, though. Who cares? Nigga, you, obviously the numbers. You say he's the numbers guy. He's not dropping, but I'm telling you he's dropping. So I okay. think I should care. All right, so let me let me tell you why Drake shouldn't care, right? Drake goes number one with the songs he drops. Okay, mm-hmm. one song sells other than the other. He's still in the Billboard Hot 100 as number one. He still has the hottest song out in the country. Oh, shit. Oh, the hottest song, his hottest songs in the country wasn't doing the numbers that it did before. He's still number one in the fucking country. It doesn't matter. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, yo, when you look at the Billboard Hot 100 charts, boom, and you see yeah. number one, that's the only thing uh-huh. that should matter. You shouldn't be like, oh, shit, Drake went number <laughs> one. It shouldn't, like, you don't compare it to, oh, shit, it wasn't like a fucking Kiki, do you love me? It wasn't the number one <laughs> hit like that, but it was still number one. Like, yeah, but it, like, it was number one for like a week. It's a week, and then it disappeared. But you want to know why it's number one for a week? It's because Drake does not promote his singles. We just Nigga, got all, yo, albums will speak for themselves. He don't have to promote it, bro. He didn't got, fucking promote Kiki. Do you love me? That shit just blew up. No, he, bro, brother, brother, God's plan and shit like that. It has God's plan. I count. I can count. He's promoted. It has but some Kiki, promotion oh, to it. In my feelings, blew up because of Shiggy dancing to it. He had no promo. That like, he didn't promote it until after Shiggy. Yeah, Look, but Shiggy, nigga, Shiggy didn't get paid for that until after. It's Shiggy just did it for the love, bro. Drake doesn't, do, <laughs> bro. Think about all the songs that he went number one and shit, right? Tussie Slide came out of nowhere. No promo for it. TikTok blew it up. Whatever. Nigga, nigga, no, 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 no. Nigga, he made Tussie Slide for TikTok, nigga. He promoted that shit. I remember it. It That's a cap. What was Drake's promo for it? The promo, nigga, it's a a dance. It's a dance song, nigga. He made it for TikTok. That doesn't mean that he promoted it. Yeah, but he made it for TikTok, bro. Like, brother. the songs that Drake makes that is is arguably for TikTok. I did my dance on TikTok one time and went viral with it. Like that's still not promo. Like come on, gang. That's not. Do we? You come on, boom. You're that shit was hella promoted boom, though. You're like, an artist, gang. You know what yeah. promo is, bro. Like, I know. You know what I'm saying? I know. Like, 
I know, I know that, but I, I know promo to the point. I know Tussie Slot was a fucking like literally like product placement for TikTok, bro. And it didn't go as well as he look, thought it would. This is all the Drake number ones, right? Okay. We're we're, we're gonna actually take a look. No at guidance. Right? Original, original, like organic hit. Organic life is God's plan. Life is good. Organic. Like, like, like he didn't he didn't like for, like it didn't like was force bad. It just blew up because it was good. You know what I mean? Life, life is, is good. Yeah. Life organic is good. hit. Organic. As soon as it dropped, it blew up. Mm-hmm. Going bad. I guess. Now, now like, let's look. We're gonna look at all the number ones, right? Okay. Wait I'm for, for I guess wait for you was promoted. Come on, brother. It that's that's, on that's 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 few. Like, come on, that's few. Like I'm on a Drake solo or Drake featuring okay, somebody. Okay, not a, not a future. Fine. That's fine. Nice for what? Eh, nice he for promoted what? the. He promoted, promoted, that promoted that shit. It was promoted. It was promoted. He promoted that shit. And my feelings okay, was one. promoted. And my feelings promoted. Uh, that's two. Let me see. Way too sexy was not. Uh, no, nigga. Way too sexy was was definitely promoted. He dropped brother, a video and everything. We didn't hear this, bro, brother, we didn't hear a snippet, not nothing until the song came out. Game. Yeah, like, but he did a video and everything. Yeah, but like, that was late, though. That wasn't it was like, like come on, bro. It, it, it wasn't like just the audio. Wait for you was just the audio. Late. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let it slide. Tootsie I'm going to let it slide. No promo. Tootsie Tootsie was promo. Jimmy Cooks, no promo. Jimmy Cooks did. Okay, like, I let come, that slide. Come on, bro. Like, Drake is dropping these number ones with no type of promotion to it. What's next? No promo. Wait, where, where, where do we get with this argument? Where do we get with this, with this I'm, argument? I'm trying to tell you the argument is that Drake doesn't promote his songs anymore, gang. Yeah, but uh, what I'm saying is, like, that that's not our fault that he doesn't promote it. It's not, but the thing is... To somebody like Drake, why do you need to promote your songs if you're still going number one? That's what yeah, I'm trying to tell you. Compare, wait for you, what's my name? Let's see. Whatever song he got that was actually a chart topper to fucking Tussy Slide that was number one for one week and disappeared off the charts within 14 fucking days. Nobody else could do it. Nigga, Taylor Swift is going to do it. Next week, all them songs in the top 10 are going off the fucking charts, nigga. Oh, oh, but that's there's a difference though, right? With Taylor Swift, she cheated for her fucking sales. Drake don't cheat because he don't care. That's what I'm trying to tell you the difference. Drake doesn't cheat for himself because he doesn't give a fuck. Let me call I don't her, think she cheated. Call, she just bro, played the game, nigga. Bro, she cheated, bro. She just played the game, nigga. Yeah, she had a mind ready. I'm going to call Ack. This nigga Ack's still alive, bro. Yeah, I know. This nigga Ack is funny, bro. I ain't going to lie. He said, Ye don't write no music. Nigga, Michael Jackson ain't write no music, nigga. Exactly. Brother, it bro. don't even matter about who who writes music. You know what I'm saying? It's nah, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck about that either. It's about the um, execution, bro. I'm be honest. It, it's like Drake is in his prime now. Kanye West was already doing this shit already, bro. So like, I don't. This, like, let me say the difference between Kanye West and Drake, though, right? Kanye everybody... West, Kanye West, even in his prime, couldn't snap his fingers and go number one. Drake can snap his fingers and go number because one. the game is way different though. Like the game is way different now. But bro, not even not even just that. But like Drake can blow up any artist. Like you know, no the fuck he can't. No, brother, he can't. Brother, Drake's I guess famous. I guess we knew who and Smiley I, I, was before Drake. Yes, but you know how many features Drake got on that? Nigga, he did a song with Drake or the Ruler. Nigga, did he make, did they make that nigga? It charted. I don't think so. Listen, I don't think nigga did go number one. Did go top ten. I don't think so, brother. It doesn't matter. He didn't with young, no, he didn't start with Young Blue. Did it go even top fifteen? If 15? you're on a song with Drake, you're going to chart. Okay, yeah, you could chart, but then what, brother? After you do after that, Drake's already done his, his mission, brother. He already you know, moved up. The like, mission is charting number forty five, nigga. Let, okay. me tell, let me tell you how powerful Drake is. Drake doesn't even need to hop on this song. He could co-sign you. And you're gonna blow up. Look at Ice Spice. Look who he just mean, co- look he just co-signed just now. Diddy Osama. All these niggas is gonna blow up just off a co-sign with Drake. You can't do that with Kanye. Nobody give a fuck who he's around. True. You know not now. Like, not not now. And Kanye. Look at Yeet. Yeet. Drake co-signed them. Like come nigga, on. Nigga, Yeet was already on though. He no, was on, bro. No, 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 like come no. on. Once that Drake co-sign hits, nigga, nigga y'all up. chat, bro. When Yeet that Drake co-sign hits, when bro, that Drake on, co- bro. Bro, brother, when that Drake co-sign hits, it's up. He was on, bro. He was on already. I'm sorry to tell you, but and it's crazy because I fuck with Drake, bro. Like I really fuck with Drake, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dick ride the nigga because he fucking Drake. I can't sit here and do that shit. Listen, Kanye, was, Kanye was, West is not hot as he used to be. If I was a fucking yeah. yay dick ride, I'd be like, he's the hottest rapper in the world. He's not hotter than Drake, but he's that not. don't mean he's not better. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm saying? You're like. Even Drake cried to this nigga, cried real tears to this nigga's music. Listen, as a Kanye fan, I understand you're a Kanye fan, but bro, as a Kanye fan, 
You you like you like Kanye's opinions? Like, do you like the shit that he be talking about sometimes? Like, do you agree? Bro, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't right, give so a fuck. Look, I'm here for the music. So look, as a Kanye fan and you being here for the music, why is it so hard for you to accept? Because Kanye's already accepted it. Kanye said, yo, that nigga is way better than me. You feel me? So why is yeah. it so hard for you to accept that Drake's better than him? Even Kanye said, he said, yo, I ain't gonna lie. This, I wish Drake wrote for me and some you know, you know, Kanye <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Kanye pussy as fuck. <laughs> like, he a Christian and shit. Like, Kanye <laughs> pussy, bro. Oh Kanye know he the GOAT, bro. Like, Kanye know that shit, bro. Like, Kanye know he the GOAT, bro. Like, he do. Oh Every, and, like, and it's not what the artists say, bro. Just go outside, bro. I would, when I go in Miami, you know what? When, when I go, when I pull up Miami tomorrow, we're going to do it. I'm going to go out and I'm going to ask 10, 15 random niggas. I'm going to just ask them. I'm going to be like, who do you think is better, nigga? Drake or fucking Kanye? And I'm going to ask, I'm gonna ask five bitches and five niggas, bro. I'm going to make that shit hell. All right. All right. You want to bet? You want to bet on that? Yeah, I would. You want to bet? You want to bet five on that? Absolutely. I bet, bet. I, I, I got. I would, I, would, I would be there with you though. Let's be. Let's uh, no, yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make sure I'm with you when I do it. Cause yeah. you know I'm gonna be out. We can bet five hundred. I'm telling you. Right. I bet five. I bet five. I'm gonna be like, who you think is the greater? Who's artist. the greatest artist? Who's the yeah, better, artist. Yeah. Or, or if you want to ask them, you know, it's just to sauce it up even even better. Ask them if they had to choose one artist to listen to for the rest of their life, who would they choose? Kanye West or Aubrey Drake Graham? <sighs> Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna just do who the greatest artist. That's, that's nah, 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 nigga. I'm already putting myself on the fucking on the cliff, bro. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, Drake, nigga, Drake is a goat. Like he is, bro. Like Drake is a real fucking goat. But Kanye West is like, if it went for Kanye West, it wouldn't be no fucking Drake. Yeah, All right. I, heard, I heard about that too. I heard Kanye wrote "Find Your Love," but who cares? Like, you, like, like, you know, Kanye like, tried to sabotage Drake with that song. Funnily enough, he tried to he, like that, that's what the beat is so shit because Kanye was hating on like Kanye hate on Drake, bro. Kanye hates like he be, he did not want him to blow up, bro. Like dead ass, bro. Kanye was a hater. I got like, like I find your love beat. It's, it's like it's hard now, but it, like it's it's unmixed and shit. If you like a, a music a musician nigga, you would know like the beat is unmixed and shit like that. Like he really tried to sabotage that nigga, bro. Like. Kanye was a hate is a hating you know, ass even nigga. Even Drake can rap on shitty beats, brother. Nigga, nigga, Drake ain't rap on it. Kanye wrote it. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? That's facts. Kanye wrote that shit. Nigga. I mean, shit. Drake wrote thirty hours and some more shit. So we know that shit, shit ass. Like but thirty I hours. Know, Lado, I really want to know if Kanye really wrote that full song. Like I know he's For on what? production. Find your love. He. He probably did. Cause that hey know. hey hey, you know that's some eight oh eight shit, bro. Like that sound like yay. It do sound like yay, but I don't think he would he would write the hook or anything. Like I think so, bro. I, I mean, not the hook, yeah. but probably the, all that hey 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 shit. You know that's fucking you know that's yay, bro. Yeah, that's like, facts. That's fucking yay, bro. Like that was like prime yay. Like like like, bro. You're kind of Drake. Look out to the nigga, bro. I'm not a like, Kanye hater. I just think Kanye is just so overrated. Yeah, I'm not a Drake, bro. And I'm not a Drake hater, bro. Like I don't want niggas to think I just hate Drake because like nigga, I, like my favorite Drake album. This shit is a uh, I don't know if it's a hot take, but my favorite What's Drake album is, is is if you're reading this is too late. That's, That's my not favorite a hot Drake take album. At all. That's my favorite Drake album like he's ever made. Y'all don't give a fuck if you didn't write. I don't give a fuck. He sang it, nigga. He sang it the best, bitch. Fuck Quentin Miller. He sang it the best. So <laughs> like like views, I don't like views at all. Like I feel like views were so mid compared to um if you read this is too late. Excuse me. It just it just was mid. It's not like some commercial shit. It's not like some ESPN shit. You know what I mean? Brother. But, Fire and Desire, Redemption. I can't, bro. I don't know. It's probably just me. I'm probably just lame as fuck. But I like it's 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 reading this is too late. Um, take care. Then it's um nothing was the same. Is nothing was the same. I I feel like that's my I can only choose three because my other ones would be like so far gone and like all oh, his old shit. And, like thank me later. Like my those least, my shit. My least favorite Drake project outside of honestly never mind because I don't feel like that counts. <laughs> it's probably more life. More life, I actually fuck with more life, bro. But I can't put it up there. But more life was actually niggas was hating on that shit. That shit was so hard, bro. Like I fuck with more life. Besides that one like song with with the X and shit, where like X was beef with him and shit. But more life, um, more life was hella, hella underrated. When he got passion fruit, he had do not disturb. That's that's like my top three favorite Drake songs ever. Ice do not is disturb. the best song on the album to me. What's it called? Ice melts. You know how mm, you heard of Ice melts, right? Icy, Icy, see, like ten seventeen. Oh yeah, that's like for the hoes, bro. I can't. I, 
Nah, I, I like I like do not disturb. I like when Drake talking like real nigga shit, bro. Like when Drake talking that real nigga, like Star Sixty Seven. We talk about like the come up and shit, bro. bro. Company, that, I ain't gonna lie, like, like bro, shit. like niggas are like that's when he killed Drake. That's when he killed Ye, but Ye good at that shit too. But like that's when he killed Ye. Like he tell you about his come up, and you think you was there with that nigga, bro. Like on the fucking come up in the studio with this nigga Ollie and shit, like. Like nah, Drake is go there. I'm not here to say Drake is fucking crazy. I'm gonna tell, you, I'm gonna tell you, here. Let me get on. Um, hold on. Let me load up my Call of Duty while we play this shit. Let me, I want to play while we talk. I don't mean to hold it. Yeah, I don't mean to hold the chat up, but nah, 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 nah. I'm bed, chilling, bro. bro. We can talk about this shit. I just want to. I just want to play card while we talk. But you want to know what what Drake came in and started doing? Where I feel like he he fucked the whole entire game up. What? Even though you could say Kanye was the first person to do it. I always argue with people all the time and tell people that Kanye is not the he's not better than Drake at doing it. And that's when it comes down to singing. Singing you know and rapping. And I felt like when Drake started singing, you know what I'm saying? Correct me if I'm wrong, right? But okay. I feel like without Drake introducing the singing and expressing his feelings on the record, there would be no Rod Wave. There would be no A Boogie. There would be True. no Dirk. There would True. be no, like, I feel like that all came from Drake. Like, you got to understand, oh. when Drake did it, he was getting clowned up for being light-skinned. Niggas uh-huh. called him a bitch. Niggas called him soft. Niggas called him sensitive. Nobody want to listen to this light-skinned ass shit. But you know what, you know, you know what niggas did, though? You know what Drake said? He said, niggas will buy it, too, and say they bought it for their sister. Yo, once yo, once once Drake started doing that, that's when niggas really started paying attention and be like, "Damn, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of feel this little light skinned nigga." Like, you know what I'm saying? Like when he started coming that's up with true, money, but the it, power, like, it took Kai, like Kai was on the cross getting nailed, nigga, by the fucking Israelites or whatever it's fucking called in the Bible. Like he was the nigga that got crucified for that shit. If it wasn't for fucking Kanye West when Aos and Heartbreaks, I understand he cut, he did it, but he didn't do it. Like he wasn't saying it and rapping like Ye was on 808s. 808s was the fucking like heartless fucking street lights, bro. Like, bro, like yeah, annoying, bro. Yeah, I, I, like, I don't know if you really tapped into this nigga, yay, but like, no, I'm I telling am, you, that nigga, I am, and I 100% like, agree with you. Like, that nigga, yay, is like so fucking goaded, bro. Like, to tell you the shit. Though? And even though, even though I'm a Drake fan, I'm not a Kanye hater. Let me, I, I want to tell you the difference, though, right? When yay did it, he did it on some like some T Pain shit, like some auto tune shit, like. He experienced but like even Drake uses auto tune though. Yeah, but see the thing is with Drake though is that you can tell that he has a natural voice for singing, bro. Like, even eh, I don't want to expose the industry, but man, yeah. listen, you can say engineer, you can say whatever. But, but he can sing, but like it's obviously the effects that's making it sound that good. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but because he's not like he's not like fucking um Prince. You know what I mean? That nigga Prince can yeah, actually sing. I ain't, listen, I'm not saying he's no super like he can hit the notes like Jackson Michael Jackson can or anything. Yeah. But I'm saying that when Drake Drake has a distinct voice, that when his voice starts to come on the mic, bro, and he actually starts singing in a natural voice, it's like so soothing to your ears, Paul's no homo, you feel me? That niggas yeah. actually have a feel for it. Like, nah, like, it makes them want to listen. Like, you ever listen to a nigga and be like, damn, this nigga voice is beautiful. Pause, you feel me? Like, yo, nigga, when you, have you ever heard Rod Wave when he sung that open mic genius shit? Nigga, nigga Rod like, Wave has the most beautiful voice of the, all Nigga, time. voice is beautiful. You feel yeah, me? that nigga voice, like, I don't give a fuck. That nigga can actually sing, bro. Like, that yeah, nigga's but, actually but so that's raw. That's how it was with Drake when he first came out. Because we never had an artist at the time frame that could rap. And sing with a, with a natural voice huh. like Drake did. Wait, wait. Somebody in the chat made a good point. They say harmonizing isn't singing. I feel like he's doing more harmonizing than he's actually Absolutely singing. Absolutely not. Because I'm going to tell you who the harmonizers are, right? Who? The harmonizers are niggas like Tekka. The harmonizers are niggas like A.B. Um, the harmonizers are niggas like Speaker Knockers. I don't even think I've heard Tekka sing. He just like, he's like melodic, but he's not like That's harmonizing. harmonizing. Bro. When no. I want you, you want me. If I said I love you, would you love me? And, nah, and, that's like a lot of harmonizers. Is like too many times I've been wrong. That's not really singing. You're just using your voice. Like disagree. that's harmonizing. He's like, eh, eh, eh. like that's just a minute. That's just like what Young Thug does. That's just like a melody. You know what I mean? Disagree. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Young Thug is a harmonizer. I feel yeah, like A yeah. Boogie's on na 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 like you know what I'm saying? Young, no, uh, A Boogie's a harmonizer. Yeah, that's what I Young said. Young Thug and Tekka are melodic, like just melody niggas. You know what I'm saying? They're just melody niggas. Yeah, but the thing Young is, Boy is harmonizing. Uh, he got he got like a hybrid, bro. Because Young, like he actually listen, be let singing. Me ask you this, right? 
songs like Jaded. I'm so faded, I'm so jaded. What do you, what do you, do you, do you think that's harmonizing? Do you think that's actually I singing? feel like that's just harmonizing. He's not singing. Uh, I don't know, brother. That's like, even Marvel's thinking. Room, he's not singing. He's just harmonizing. Mm, I don't know, brother. That's debatable. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, bro. I know, this, I know this music shit, bro. Like, I know this music shit. Like, it's just, it's not singing, bro. It's not, it's not singing. Singing is fucking purple rain, purple rain. That nigga's singing. Like he's in different, he in different octaves in in one note. That's singing. Tori's a singer. Like Tori sings. You know what I mean? Okay. So let me ask. You Shot for me. Shot for me can be counted singing. You ever or like heard, practice. You ever heard "I Get Lonely" too? I can't remember that, but no, I, I don't okay, think okay. so. Um, it was all, it's an old, it's an old Drake record. Let me ask you this: What about um? What about trust issues? Whoa, yeah. whoa, okay, whoa, that's whoa. I can count that. Yeah, I can count that. Okay. Um. What about um. What about feeling away, feeling away, feel away, y'all nigga feel away. I start thinking like you, this. This is what I'm saying, know. bro. It's like I think people try to deny Drake's voice when it comes down to singing. I would, I will admit he does harmonize, but I also feel like. He he has a soothing voice when it comes down to him. I feel like he's just trying, like like he can sing, but he's not a singer. Like the weekend is a fucking singer. Absolutely, like, but the weekend sings on every song. Listen, I'm not saying Drake sings the best, but no, me either. I'm not saying he sings the worst either. I'm just I, saying most of the songs he don't really sing. He harmonizes a lot. I'm saying that Drake was the first one to introduce singing and rapping on on, on a combination of a nice balance of it. Like with all these first, other wait, artists, first rapper. First, not true. hold on. I said I was good at it. Now, if you say first rapper, oh, okay. like I said, okay. we could go all the way back to Kanye. But that's like auto tune. That's really. I guess he the first rapper you know where it worked. You know what I'm saying? Like worked to like main like eight oh eight was good, but it wasn't like people don't consider eight oh eight as like the top three for Kanye West. So people consider fucking take care and the shit that even the shit his old shit as like is at least in his top three. Take care is in at least every Drake fan's top three. Top three, it gotta be like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah, he he definitely is the reason why niggas like Rod Wave and I can't say Kanye can't say Rod Wave listen to fucking 808s and Harper. I'm like, yeah, I want to sing a rap. He definitely listened to Drake and was like, oh, I want to sing a rap. Like that's why they sample all these old Drake songs. They do the 3 a.m. and Glenwood and shit. Like he, like even the nigga had 21 Savage singing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 